Okay, so good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining this Wiki Coach training. My name is Chukwe Wichukwesta, and I'll be taking us through on how we can edit Wiki Coach, and I'll be introducing to us what Wiki Coach is. So let's go through the slides. These are the takeaways we'll be getting from this section. We'll be going through what is Wikicode. We'll be navigating the Wikicode interface. We'll go through the policies and guidance of Wikicode. Go through editing, Wiki, editing challenges. Steps to creating a new Wikicode as called and campaigns that contribute to Wikicode. And also would have a question and answer section. So let me, let me start. What is a Wikicode? Wikicode is a free online compendium of sourced quotations covering diverse topic and individuals. It complements Wikipedia by focusing specifically on notable quotes. I'm sorry, can you hear me? I'm sorry about the noise on, at the background. Please, can you hear me? Yes, we can. I'm sorry about the noise at the background. So what Wikicode is, is just a website, a sister project of Wikipedia, where we document quotations, where we document quotations and quotes from people, female, male, and we can also document quotes from films, music, and um, movies. We can source quotes from this, this um, various people and various topics and various things, and we can document them on wiki code to ensure that this quote of these people or this quote in this movie is being documented on wiki code and it is being um, is being saved there. Let me use the word save. So whenever anybody wants to make reference or anybody wants to get quotes. They can go to Wikicode and source the quotes of these people and of these movies, films, and they can make use of them in their daily lives. Quotes, one way or the other, is an inspiring something for everybody. In our daily lives, we use quotes to inspire ourselves. We use quotes to motivate ourselves. We use quotes of other people to let ourselves know that we can do this. This is not the first time, we would not be the first person to go through whatever we are going through. But we can, we can use these quotes to guide ourselves. So Wiki Quotes is just that platform, that Wikipedia, Wikipedia sister project that give us that space to document quotes that we feel that this quote needs to be documented. This quote needs to be on Wikimedia space. This quote needs to be on the Wikimedia platform. Sorry, I hope I'm not so fast. Go on, let's go. Okay. So, okay, it's, it's fine. I can you zoom your screen so that um, it can be visible. All right, can you see now? Let me try to rotate the screen. I think this should be better. Yeah, this this phone is okay. Okay, so now this is what a wiki code interface looks like. This is what the wiki code interface looks like. This is the main page of a wiki code website, the main page of wiki code. We have the quote of the day. 
you can see here, uh, this is the post that they used for the day. A leader takes people where they want to go. A great leader takes people where they don't necessarily want to go, but ought to be. I'm trying to get the name. But this is the quote that Wikipedia, um, Wikipedia has chosen to be their quote of the day. Then we have the main page, the discussion site, the read, the view source, the view history, and the search wiki quote. So whenever you log into a wiki quote page or a wiki quote website, this is the first thing you will be saying. This is the first thing you will be saying when you open wiki quote. Now we want to know how we can navigate wiki quote. When I am opened the wiki quote website, when I'm on the main page, how do I navigate my ways around it? Where do I have to go to contribute? Where do I have to go to check posts? Where do I have to go to source information? So we'll go through on how we can, the ways we can navigate the Wikiquote website. So the Wikiquote interface is user-friendly, allowing easy navigation. Pages are organized by theme authors, and works. The search function aid in quickly finding relevant posts. So whenever we want to find our quotes, or we have this person in our head that, okay, I want to search for Maya Angelou. All I just have to do is come here, to this search wiki quote, impute that name, and then whatever it is that pops out, I just have to click on it. If a page is, has been created, it will come out in red link, um, blue, sorry. But if it does not have an existing wiki code page, then it will appear in red link. We'll get there. So the policies and guidelines of wiki code. Wiki code has content guidelines that contributors should follow. Notability criteria, a court and individuals are aligned, promoting neutrality and discouraging bias. Most times, and not just most times, whenever we want to create a wiki quote page, we have just one thing in mind. The page that we are creating for, or whomever we are creating for, has to be notable enough the person has to be notable to the point that he or she, or the film, or the movie, or the music, has a Wikipedia page or a Wikipedia article. If whatever we have in mind to document the quote on Wikiquote does not have any of this, does not have a Wikipedia page or a Wikipedia article, we cannot go ahead to create a wiki quote page for such person or for such thing or for such music or for such film. film. Is, is there anybody that has a question or am I too fast? Are you following? Yes, I'm following. Okay. So, Neutrality, it has to be from a neutral point of view. We don't have to write a quote because of the way we feel or the way we think this quote should be written. It has to be the way the person has said that quote. It has to be the way the person has put it out. I cannot say because um, Maya Angelou said, Yuma, women are everything. And because I feel, or I have this feeling, or I have this hatred against women, and I'll come to court and change it to women are not everything. So we don't have to be biased. We have to put everything the way they have. Next slide. Tips for contributing. If we want to contribute to wiki quotes, we have to be accurate. 
when we are accurate, we have to be free from errors, precise and correct. We have to make sure that whatever we want to put out on wiki quotes has to be correct. It has to be the way it is. That is more of the reason why whenever you impute a quote on wiki quotes, you have to reference them. So they'll know that, oh, this quote is not from you. This quote is not from your head. This quote is from this site, a notable site that you've referenced. You have to be comprehensive. Complete and include everything that is necessary. Everything that that wiki quotes page should need, you have to put all of them there. Everything, the quotes, the citations, which is also references, categories. If the person has a wiki common pictures, you can add it to it. Then we have to be consistent. Whatever format that, format that we have followed from the beginning of our creation, from the beginning of creating that page, we have to follow that format till the end of the page, till the end of us creating the page. We cannot do use a one format, then go to the second paragraph and use another format. Whatever we have to do, we have to be consistent in doing it. And we have to be patient, which is the last one. When you are contributing, if your contributions get deleted, you have to be patient. Because at the end of the day, we are all still learning. So if we are not doing anything right, and somebody comes to our top page and says, this thing you are doing is not right, you have to be patient enough to tell them, OK, can you tell me how to make this thing right? Can you tell me what to do to make this thing right? So these are the tips for contributing to a wiki code page. These are the tips for us to contribute to wiki code. Common challenges. The common challenges users may face are sourcing or form formatting to source your wiki code page or the format for you to use. But there is no need for us to worry. The community has provided resources and support to address issues and improve the quality of contributions. I don't know if anybody has one time or the other tried to open a Wikicode website. Has anyone tried to open a Wikicode website? I yes, yes. Have you tried to open a wiki code website? Yes. So did you see like anything like welcome? These are the user guidelines, these are the templates for you to follow if you want to create a user page, um, wiki code page. Um I I I, I kind of jumped that part and I had to look at something else. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've, I've, so, I've been to the page before, but I haven't seen that. It may probably someone is kind of new or something. But okay. So, like that's the first thing that would even pop up. Maybe the first time you are going into Wikicode, that's the first thing that will pop up on your top page. They will welcome you first, then they will tell you these are the templates you need, these are the guidelines you need to follow. Then they'll tell you thank you for joining or for contributing and they're looking forward to your contributions. So there is always a you it's always just a safe space. So the common challenges can be addressed. Now the question is how do I edit wiki quotes? First to edit wiki quotes. We have to first of all have a user username, have a user account, have a Wikipedia user account. 
So we have to pray or we log in. The sweet thing about Wikimedia Foundation, Wikipedia, and its sister project is that for every username and password that we have, we can use just one password just and one, one username to log into any Wikipedia sister project there is. We don't have to create new one because we want to go into Wikidata. We don't have to create new one because we want to go into Wikisource. We don't have to create new username because we want to go into um, Wikichonary or Wikivoyage or Wikibooks. Whatever username that we have, we can log into Wikipedia sister projects with just that username and the password. So when you want to edit Wikicodes, all you have to first do is log in. Because when we don't log in and we try to edit, we might get blocked. So you create a login user account. Then you use the search box to search for what you want to create. Let's just say I want to create for someone. I have to search, type a name, and search if she has a wiki code page. Then the third thing, if the name is in red, can you see this number four? If the name is yes. in red, that means she does not have, he or she does not have a wiki code page and we can go ahead to create. But if it's in blue like this, that means the person has a wiki code page. So we can either improve, improve the page or we leave it. We cannot create from, from scratch because the page is already existing. So these are ways to contribute to Wikicode or ways to start editing to Wikicode's page. Now, this is a sample of what a Wikicode page looks like. Can we all see? Yes. Yes, this is Mr. Johnson. So the Nigerian actress. I, I think most of us, a few of us that would know who she is or like have heard of her one way or the other. So this is the consistency we are talking about. You can see that the person that created this page followed one format all through the codes. After adding the codes, the person added the reference. This one, this thing that looks like one, this thing that is one inside a square box is our reference. Then we keep, we have the codes and like that. That is how, this is how a wiki code page looks like. Campaigns that contribute to wiki codes. We have the women in red, where we create accounts for women or where we create page for notable women who don't have who don't have page or who, do, who does not have Wikipedia page or Wikidata as Wikidata item or Wikicode page. So this campaign have been put together to make sure that these women come into the Wikipedia space. These women have things about them in Wikipedia or its sister projects. So women in red contributes to women trying to create articles for notable women or trying to create page or items for notable women who don't have any Wikipedia article or page whatsoever, be it a Wikipedia or its sister project. And we have the She Said. She Said is a campaign that is organized by Wikilove Women. So this, she said, is to document quotes about notable women. So 
this she said it's just quotes. We can only contribute to wiki quotes for she said. And most times there always one wiki quote entry and one Wikipedia entry at the time. So wiki quote is mainly um she said is mainly the main focus of she said campaign is wiki quotes. So now we have the questions. So any one of us have a question? Please, do any one of us have any question for me? Okay, so I have a question. Okay, go, can go ahead. Okay, so if if you are writing the quotes, do you need to write? You know, some quotes are also speeches. Do you need to just write the the pattern exactly the quotes, or uh, it should be a speech? So, so what kind of quotes are we looking at? Are we looking at short short quotes, long end quotes? Like what kind of quotes are we looking at when we are um, writing? Sorry, can I ask you a question? Okay. Speeches in what form? Um, you know, sometimes when can somebody like is giving example? a yes. No, that so like when somebody is giving a speech, you know, mm -hmm. you know, there might there, there are some form of element of speech quotes. I don't know that I get okay. any, but mm -hmm. yeah, there, there are some, someone is giving a speech, but within the speech, there are speech quotes yes. element within it here. Yeah. But if some, someone can just give you a quote, they're on the go. That's what I'm asking. That are we, are we looking at those kind of quotes or we are looking at someone just giving you a quote on the go? Um, we can, we are looking at both because okay. I feel before we can have a quote, someone has to be giving out a speech. Then from that speech, we can say, oh, this is a quote. I can't just okay. be on my own and, and give a quote. There has to be something that would trigger the word that I would put together. And then maybe the person listening or the audience would, would receive it as a quote. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Do anyone else have a question? You have a step by step guide to editing, you know, to wiki code. Yes. Like, do you have something you've generated that can be used by the people who are not available here at the moment? Sorry, come again, please. I'm saying that do you have a, like um, a guideline that you have developed that can be shared with, you know, people like a PDF or Word format guideline for editing step by step? No, not really. But we'll be doing a practical section after the presentation of this slide. Okay. okay. On how we can create a wiki code page from the scratch. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Do we have anyone else? Uh, I was thinking that if we can go over the practical section again, okay. and I think we just have someone who just joined so that they can learn. So I should go to the practical section or the beginning yes. of the slide. Practical. Okay. Okay. Just how maybe we'll do one quote edit and let's see how it looks like. Okay. 
So before now, I already made research. So it will be easy for us and we don't take much of our time. I want to open another tab. Please, can everyone see my screen, please? Yep. So I want to start. Yeah. So the first thing we have to do is to search for wiki quotes. And this is the site we'll be using. HTTPS, double column, double slash, www.wikiquotes.org. So I'm clicking on this one. Then English. If there is there are other languages you want to contribute to, then you can click on them. But I want to contribute to the English wiki code. So I'll be clicking on English. For those of us that will be using our mobile devices to edit, yours might not come up in desktop sites when you want to start to edit. So what you just have to do is scroll down or come to the side of your phone and click on desktop to make it smaller and for you to see the whole page. So like I showed us during the slide presentation that this is what a wiki code interface main page looks like. This is our quote for the day. The way a question is asked limits and disposes the way in which any answers, answer to it, right or wrong, may be given. Suzanne Nanga. So this is what a wiki quote page looks like. Now I want to create a new account, a new page for someone that I don't think she has a page. How many of us are familiar with Win Winifred Selby? Did I get that right? Hi, everyone. Anyone? I can't seem to hear anyone. Ruby, please, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I didn't quite hear anyone again. So let me just search. Come to the search wiki codes. Now I want to type the name. Sorry, my phone is to change quite Sorry, I want to remove it from the question so I can get that.
Okay, so she doesn't she does not have a wiki code page because her, her name is appearing in red link. Can we all see that? Can we all see her name appearing in red? In red link. Yes. Okay, I don't know why my phone is doing like this. But I'm going to leave this tab open. So I want to check if she has a Wikipedia page so I can start creating. I'm very, very sorry. So I'm to open another page, another tab. Let's yeah. search for our name. Please, yeah. are we still following me? Yes. Okay, I'm so sorry about earlier. So this is our Wikipedia page. This is our Wikipedia page. So all I'll be doing is I want to copy all of this introduction. So Korea Institute of Singapore from a complete name. I will highlight all of this to this, then I'll copy. So let's start to create. I'm going back to my wiki code tab. So I'll click on a name. Let me try to make it older. Now we've started. Please, before you click on create, Always make sure you are logged in so you don't get blocked. So I want to paste all of those that were posted. I have to clear this references. Because we don't need them. Now, this is a name in full. So, the first thing I'll be doing is to link this name to a Wikipedia account. So, can we start editing now, please? If you if you you are lost at some point, you can always call my attention back to it. Because all I'll be doing, I'll be I mean I want to use the source edit to edit this to create this new wiki code page. So we'll be using some 
or a few symbols. So please, if you are lost or you am being too fast, you can always call my attention back to wherever you are lost or to take my time and be slow. So let's start. The first thing we'll be using is this square bracket. Before the square bracket, let me use this, this sign to make it bold, three of it. Then the square bracket, two, capital W for Wikipedia, double column, Use a slash and rewrite the name again. Then you close with two square brackets and this face. Can we all see the preview of what I've done? Please, can we see my screen and the preview of the edit I've done so far? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I can move on. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Now I want to hard code. But the first thing I have to do is to give editing to my code. So I want to give to space. space. Use the stick also sign, double over space. Capital Q. And this again. This equals to sign, this double equals to sign is for edging. Can we see the way it is now on the preview side of our creation? Please, am I might be am I too fast? Yeah, you're okay, it's okay. Already acknowledged that the oh wow. Let me know you are still listening. Or if I'm boring, you can let me know. But by your screen is too small. I'm it's too so small. Okay. How about now? This is the preview side of it. This is the editing source side of it. It is good. Okay. So these are the signs I used. I'm going to publish this. I want to publish this, then I would copy the quotes that I've seen in some other websites so we can continue. If I don't publish, I'll add my edit summary. I created a new page. This edit summary is to let them know what we have done. Let me publish. So this is a page. I started creation for this person. So let's continue. Before I started creating this page, I 
to those that have done some researches. So I have an open tab already. I found the quote here. Please, you can also follow, follow me and check through the site. So we can pick a preferable quote to add to that page. I don't want to use this. Okay, this is what I saw before. You have to believe so strongly in what you are doing to be so dedicated to it that you're willing to make the necessary sacrifices. Is this, um, is this usable for a quote? Can we use it? I feel we can. I'm going to copy this. And also copy the URL link. So now I want to add my quotes. I'm back to our wiki quotes page. Okay, now, so I want to start to edit that quote, but let me click on full edit so we can see the preview when we add a quote. So to add the quote, We use this symbol, this asterisk symbol. The symbol to make bullet point. So now I want to copy quotes. We can use the quotation sign. Yeah, also. Then another bullet point. One square bracket. Paste the link, the URL link. So we are referencing this quote now. Then we can write, um, you see, you have to believe so strongly what you do. So let me put the description. Sacrifices to be made. Then I'll close it. So this is how the quote and the reference is going to look like. Can I continue?
Yeah, so the quote is it for the uh, the first uh, the the first statement that you made? The That's the link you made. The, the link. The the link that, yeah, the reference. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For, for every quote that we had, we we must add the reference to it. We must add a reference to it. So whenever anyone wants to be sure that, okay, this is not something we just write from our head, all they just have to do is go to this link and they will see the word, the, the quotes from the page that I copied it from or the website I copied it from, word for word. So I will not be penalized for whatever I've done here. Okay, so I just want to find out that's for the um the you have you you have you have to believe so strongly is um that one it wasn't linked so that i wanted to know whether the link below that's yes are to be made to be great oh. is it for oh. the reference is it for the the first one or that's also a different um quote altogether no it, uh, this the sacrifice has to be made Okay. Is like a description for the the URL link that I've added to this first statement. Okay, so that's the, that's the a thing is, no, it's not a quote. The thing is, if I should remove all the sacrifices that have to be made now, you will see something like a number. Okay. I just don't want it to be the reference standing alone. That is why I I just had to add. A description to it. Let me okay. let me try to delete it. Okay, okay, I get you, I get you, I get you. No, let me try to delete it, then we can write it again. So this one is just like a number. You see. Okay. Well, I just want it to be like whatever I'm writing should be. It shouldn't be ordinary as I'm writing this description with the link, the URL link. So this one is a reference to this, to the statement or the quote that I've initially added to the to the page. Okay. So let's just, let me use the consistency of this one, two, three. So we don't get confused. How about that? Okay. Okay, okay so now, I like, so mean that so meaning that because you don't want it to um, appear as one, two, three, yeah. you are using the, uh, the, 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 the sentence to um, just remove the, the number from there so that like it would be like you, I get you, I get you. Yes. The, the, so the next one, the next two, so the next quote, the, uh, the next reference that will come will be number two. Yes. Right? So instead of, yes. like, instead of you making it number two, you probably add a word to it to describe yeah. the kind of in reference yeah. to the first one. Yes, exactly, exactly. To beautify whatever we have documented or to beautify our quotes. That's why I'm using the description. Okay. So if if you are having um two like two quotes, how do you go about that? Are you going to like list like list them because that's like references that are making available so i just want to know like how okay. you to add them. the second quote right yeah second quote if you're adding the ah. second quote because this reference is for the first one so yeah. i just want to know if there are two quotes how, yeah I have, will you... I have two quotes available for this for this okay. person so let me publish this I wanted us to like add um, add categories and external links before I can add the post. So just maybe build this page to some points, and we can begin to add quotes. I don't want to just keep adding and publishing, adding and publishing. But let me add second quotes. So let me put my summary that I added quotes.
I clicked on publish automatically. Well, let's add the second quote. This is the first. Okay. So I'm opening another website. Okay, this one, draw inspiration and courage from your own dreams and passions and never slack on them. I think we can use this. So all we just have to do is copy. Copy. And also copy the URL, URL link. So we can go back to our wiki codes page and click on edit again. No, almost done. Is this good enough? Yes. Okay, so like I said before, for us to like make the bullet points, we have to use this sign. This asterisk sign to make bullet point. Let's give it space. And now we want to copy our, paste our quote. Remember we copied the quote, so we are pasting now. Okay, do the code. And now we want to work on our reference. We use this again. This is bullet point. This is our for bullet point. Before this, we use this one square bracket. Paste the link and we close it. Can you see? So the reference for this one now is it's, it's appearing in two, number two. So the more we add references, the more the number increases. If I add another quote and another reference, that will be three. If I add another quote and another reference, that will be four. Like that, like that, like that. So whenever we are tired of adding quotes. Okay, so the format is you need to get a quote and a reference. Quotes yes. And a reference. Quotes. Okay. Yes. So now I want to do another editing. Can you tell me how to make an editing? What sign do I have to use? What symbol do I have to use to make an editing? Anyone? You can unmute yourself and speak. Oh, okay. You use the um, to equal to sign. Okay, let's see. And what else? And then you write, uh, okay. and the words like that's in their head. <laughs> you write in. Yes, I want to add a standard list. So let me write this. So you write the heading name, then you close okay. it with two equal to sign. Okay, you are the one teaching me now. 
So I'm following whatever you say. Let's see. Yeah, you are the one teaching me. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Round of applause. Let me clap for you. Pa, 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 pa. So now we have our external link in an editing format. So I don't if she has a website, this is where we can add the website. We can add the website under this editing. But I want to add a Wikipedia page. So I'll be using this. Not the square brackets, but the, I don't know what it's called. Call, yes, poly brackets. Then Wikipedia. And I'll close it. Now let's see what we've done. Can you see? Wikipedia has an article about a name. So once you click on this name here, it will take you to a Wikipedia page. Just like once we click on this name here also, take us to our Wikipedia page. So now, Let's add, let's add categories. Please, I hope I'm not too fast. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, to add category, we also have to use this poly bracket. Default sort all in capital letters. Then double column. A first name. Sorry, a last name first. So a last name is a comma. Then a first name. This this will not appear under our preview yet because we are still working on it. Let's close it. If I should close it now, it's not going to appear. So we have to publish first before it appears. Okay, cool. I put now. So let's add let's add category. I don't know if there's a category for women from Ghana, because she's a Ghanaian. So we'll go back to my square bracket. Capital C. Double call. <coughs> Let me try women from Ghana. For me to check this category, if it is not a red link, I would have to publish first. Let me try to publish. Okay, so there is a category for women from Ghana. So to keep adding category, to add external links. So we've done three, four things. We've added an introduction. We've added two of our quotes. 
We've added an external link and we've added category. So this is just how a wiki code page looks like. For us to improve this page, we can add pictures to it. If the picture is, is on wiki commons, we can add more codes. We can add our website and we can add categories. So this is how a wiki code page looks like. So we've created a wiki code page for Winfred. And we can also wiki link some of this web. So I think I have created a wiki code page for Winfred. Do, do we all get the steps that I took in creating this page? Yes. How about the others? Does anybody want me to go through it again? I think that is so insightful. I think it's, it's cool. Um, I don't know if anybody has any question, but this is really helpful. Thank you. Does anybody have any question? If not, we'll bring the training to a close. Yeah. Okay, I'll hand over to Anita. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much for the time spent with us on this training site. So now, um. I believe everyone had a call me start to edit and we keep hold and contribute towards that project as well. Um, so for everyone who has made it for today's training, we are so grateful to you for making time for this program. And um, we'll be opened again for Office R and you'll be informed accordingly on the community page. So I want to say a very big thank you to all of you and do have a good evening. So any information will be communicated on the community page. Thank you all very much. Richard, thank you so much too for your time spent with us. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you very um, much. You're so welcome. Thank you. So much. Everyone have a good evening and see you soon. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye.